Call yourself, eh? Como se llama? Antonio Montana. Como se llama? Se llama. Se llama. Antonio Montana. I've got balls to steal because I've been through a lot in a Cuban jail cell. I was left to run with that Castro fuck trying to tell me what to think. <laughs> Welcome to the poorly placed stream. Why, who put it on continue? Who left the fucking CDJ? Who left the CDJ on continue? Damn it. Okay, we're gonna take it from the top. It was Kevin. I am so fucking pissed. Okay, welcome to the show, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I had to take out some trash real quick. There's some, uh, something in the hallway I tripped over. Welcome. Brian, thank you for being here with me. Thank you, everyone. Love it. How's everyone I doing? I sure did miss you. I uh, saw you a little bit on Sunday, but, uh, oh, yeah. you know, we did a podcast. The we other did. boys, they left, some of the boys left early to go see the Raccoon Tours. Oh, they did. I don't know what that word even means. Um, some Jack White thing? I don't know. Sounds weird. I think Sean. it has a definition that I don't know. Sean's into it and Rocco's into it. So they uh. they uh, they headed out over there and had a good time. Uh, while me and Derek held down the fort. And you were asking, you know, how was how was the end of the show? Did you guys go long? Uh, we did go long. We talked to some great calls. We had a good conversation. I even heard some feedback about uh, our topics, what we discussed. We discussed health, uh, some diet even. 
uh, it was an interesting conversation that I don't think we ever expressed before. Oh, I, yeah. It was, it was new territory for us. Just something different to dive into, it sounds like. Well, if our callers today in Discord, they want to dive in and talk to me or you about uh, some of these things, give us some new territory. Like We would love it. We want to be challenged. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, we've got the wheel. We've got the Twitch chat. Oh, man. It's laggy, but lords, the audio is fine. Thank you. Thank you, Alan. Thank we're you. We're not dropping any frames, so I think we're okay. It's, you know, Twitch every once in a while. We had our SDGQ mess-ups yeah, in did. the past. We sure did. You know, they really, you know, stuck it to me. Um, sons of bitches. They're, they, you know, I can't complain, though. They are curing cancer, you know. Yeah, hopefully. Uh... Well, I'd say I'd say no, they're successfully. Doing they're doing it. I, I mean, who who gets cancer anymore, right? <laughs> I'm afraid, Brian. Sometimes I really look at those around me, yeah. and I I look and I go, well, I have this fantasy. Tell me if this is odd. I have this fantasy of like, well, when I'm like old and in a hospital for the inevitable cancer I will get. I'll have time to go back and, and play Final Fantasy VII again. Yeah. Or I'll, I'll go load up. That's why I'm keeping my Xbox One around is so I can, and I'm talking OG Xbox. Original so, Xbox. So I can load in that Call of Cthulhu. Yeah, I'll get back to that, you get know. Get back to it at some point. Well, when I'm sitting there on the chemo drip, and I, I, I've just, like, I've known so many people that have gone through it. Yeah. And subsequently, you know, it's this uh, fear. I don't think it's an irrational fear. I think it's a fear. Fear of cancer. So I, 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 I don't know. Do you ever feel that way? I guess. I, I work in a in an environment maybe with chemical, you know, the construction environment, the yeah, shop that, environment. That doesn't help. Electronics world. What I've been in and around for, you know, my high school years and up, continuously every day going to work in that environment, you know, you're putting yourself in, in, in very close proximity to – a lot of stuff, like solder and lead, uh, yeah. or, or lead and solder. I should let me. Yeah, I mean, we, we did work Flip over that. that solder without masks, but we had ventilation. We have ventilation, but you know, you do it continually for years. I just think, like, what I think of that line in Fight Club that right. Edward Norton talks about that little spore particle that you breathed in and sat. No, this isn't. This isn't Fight Club. This is a. Uh, this is a movie. Oh, what the fuck? It's this great ghost story. Anyway. Is Edward Norton in it? It's not Edward Norton at all. I don't know why I was thinking it was. <laughs> uh, it's just a, it's just a different fucking movie about uh, these insane... These guys go to clean and do asbestos work in an insane asylum. The the guy the guy from uh, Law and oh. Order that goes, Yeah! When he puts his sunglasses on, that it's that CSI. guy. CSI? Law and Order? What's a... <laughs> We're at CSI. It's the guy from CSI who does that. Yeah, I got one question, man. Tell me who oh next. This nigga salt like a nigga who did getting the best. See, I'm the best, man. I, I did, did it. it. Okay. Um, Love it. Yeah, what was the name? IRL Chat. They probably know. It's a great yeah. ghost story. Oh, oh, wow. God, it's got like one name. Horatio it's Kane. This guy goes and he no listens. Idea. He listens to all these audio tapes that he finds in the insane asylum, and uh, one of the guys starts to go crazy himself. Oh, it's a good, it's a good movie. Anyway, they're talking about that little particle uh, gets down in your lung and starts to, you know, grow over with your own body tissue. But it's like a little time bomb ticking away, and years will go by until finally one day. It bursts and then Se is it your blood nine? curdles and you have an. It's session fucking nine, Brian. That's what it is. I don't Thank know you. what's more impressive. What do you Google to find that? Audio tapes in insane, insane asylum. asylum. Hey, <laughs> that's pretty fucking good. That yeah, I don't know what's crazier, the fact that I found it or the fact that I I knew enough of what you were saying to be able to look session it up. Session nine, dude. Back session in session nine, guys. Back in the cable days, IFC had great horror movies oh, and shit on. Yeah. IFC channel, uh, action channel. Shouts out to, to the action channel. So what? Oh, dude, I forgot about all those great channels. Back in the old days, yeah. that's how I had a I had a copy on my DVR until I had to give it back. 
For years, I had a HD copy of Ghost Dad Ooh. featuring Bill Cosby. Uh, it, it was it was in HD. I mean, no one had... Nobody had Ghost that. Dad had not been released. Blu-ray was just out. Ghost Dad had not gotten an official release. So if anyone of my friends wanted to see Ghost Dad in 1080p, Damn. come on over to my house. Not a bad flick, uh, I will say. You can actually still watch Ghost Dad. You gotta look past the uh, the artist. You gotta look at the art and look past the artist. It's available on YouTube, <laughs> Amazon Prime Video, iTunes, Google Play. It's kind of hard Voodoo. to. It's kind of hard to eat pudding or watch. Uh, Jello. Fat Albert nowadays pudding. though. Do you like Jello pudding? I do. <laughs> I did. Now I feel uh, I'm betraying people if I eat it. Uh, you're probably right. I don't even go to Subway anymore. I'm too afraid of getting canceled, Brian. Yeah. So easy these days. It's you very easy to get you canceled. You could say a gamer word. Yeah, you could. You could. <laughs> One you could. way to get canceled. Yeah. You could, uh, you could fall off the edge of Big Shell, and then no one will watch your stream because you fucking die every five minutes. That was done... I'm gonna say a little ham-fistedly, right? We, yeah, but it's okay. But but we've never actually, you know, committed uh, self-death before. I like, I like that uh, Derek has us calling it self-death. Yeah. Instead of suicide, but I like to still say committed. Committed self-death. I committed self-death because it it. I think it's like a, an audio cue. Your mind goes there. Now, I want to do this the right way, and I want to do it because we couldn't get it done last week, Brian. Right. I want to do it all perfect. Yeah, I wanna, you want to collect everything? Every sing I'm right. so anally retentive, man. I want everything. I want the world and everything in it. I snort a gram of cocaine every other minute. Did you guys like the intro song? That was by a local San Diego artist uh, called Your Mom. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, fuck! I knew. I was like, I can't see myself in that smoke. Oh, boy. Final solution. Fuck. What did... Uh, That's what it was called during uh, World War II. What did... <laughs> you want to listen to Joy Division and talk about the final solution? <laughs> this is a theme here. Um, no, I I, uh, I played this, uh, <laughs> this local San Diego uh, band called Your Mom. And that was a song about uh, Scarface, about Tony Montana. I, I just remember loving that song, and I found this old CD. Because I try to find music that isn't going to get us flagged. So, like, indie San Diego stuff uh, for my old CD collection seems to be where it's at in the last couple months. Da, 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 da. Okay. But that doesn't mean we're going to completely stop with the copyrighted music. Because you know I got my workarounds. We got them. It's a run and a, a total dive like this thing. Woohoo! Yep. Okay. Wahoo! Bye bye, camera. Woohoo! Oh. Fuck! I mean. I think you might have done it a little early. It was a it was a, a funny little angle. Little early. Fuck. What's up, Rockman? How you doing? Do we have a Rockman in the chat? We do. We have a, we have a lot of great. I want to see some of these. Safarians in the chat. Oh, hey, guys. Oh, the Mega Six Defarians in effect. Oh, yeah. Dude, Ja loves a good Six Defarian. Me and Brian figured out today that if you don't hyph if you don't abbreviate Mega 64 as M64, like we've all done for 15 years, if you do it phonetically, M60S4F, it's MSF. <laughs> So Brian and I, you know, we technically we're we're showing up for the boss over at MSF every Wednesday. That's right, we're our own boss. That's right, dude. That's the message of five too. You are your own big boss. That's right. Fuck, I just I can't get any tighter. And I see it just did get tighter. Tylon the ninjas. Hey. In our chat, thank you, Tylon. Hell yeah, wonderful, Tylon. Wonderful gifts lately. Always. Yeah, it's been good. Okay, run and a uh, X. This fucking angle. You dick shit. It's like... It was straight. You can't go straight. You gotta use the angle, right? I've never... I've ne Who yells that? Colonel, I would have guessed. Or maybe he just... Maybe Colonel got... Oh, it's Japanese. That's why I don't recognize it. Yeah. Him. Yikes. Um, Brian. What? 
How you doing? I'm looking at logos. Thanks. I, I can see. You're looking at that. You know what? I will say, of all the Metal Gear patches, of all the them. logo art, my favorite previously was always the old Foxhound logo with the big cartoon fox. Yeah. Shooting the bullet around his body. Yeah. It's like... Uh, Angelina Jolie in that one movie. She's bending that. He's Foxhound can bend the bullets. Oh, curve yeah. that bullet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I Wanted know that. style, baby. Wanted, baby. So, I loved that one. Always loved it. Got real, real close to getting a tattoo. I, that was in the consideration oh, really? pile for a long time. Saw it on other people though, and I was like, nah, don't need to do it. Um, but that was in the that was in the tattoo backlog for for a good while, until man. The MSF logo from Peace Walker yeah. is I uh, taken the top spot is like my favorite like logo or just kind of patch art or anything uh, from the Metal Gear franchise. It I just really love that. Cool. It's the skull, which, you know, goth kid, of course I'm into skulls, probably would like a fucking bat or two on the next patch. I don't know. I haven't played Death Stranding yet. We'll but see. We will see. Um, but Mads looks cool. Troy Baker looks cool. All these motherfuckers got skulls on. Um, this goddamn thing. Dude, get out of the fire and into the flame. <laughs> Can I cool myself? Yeah, maybe. Uh, I think oh my god, look at the, the view. Are you just in the fire right I'm, No, I'm on fire. There, it went out. Oh god. He's on fire. Um, you know, the skull thing's cool, but then you got Big Boss's patch signifying that it's his army his yeah his own private army uh his own what do they call those in four there's an abbreviation for that god dang it brian in what four? is it called it's the uh the private armies so they pmc's pmc's private military corporation so you know big boss is really the start of that like yeah, that exactly. that that meme or that uh, business model spreads from Peace Walkers MSF into Diamond Dogs and then into I don't remember what the four were named in four. Uh, <laughs> the uh, Beauty and Beast. Well, no, the Beauty and the Beast core were part of the terrorist unit there that was working for L Ocelot. But the four PMCs that you would deal with in the different oh there was uh, it's like Mantis werewolves. Laughing. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, they kind of were based on each Beauty and Beast core because you had a wolf. Yeah. You had the mantis, which is a bug, um, and wasn't one of the girls a bug girl? No. What was she? It was. Yeah, she was. S raging Raven. Raging crying, Raven. Crying. Crying. Uh, crying coyote. What? No. So, was it a coyote in there? Praying mantis. Cool. Cool animal. Is it, yeah, praying. Should I take these fuckers out? This is like the worst one. Nah, dude. You know no, what? No, no, no. Uh, not Let me M9 him. Not what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, the Desperado Law, like, Enforcement LLC. That's cool. Um, and, that's yeah, did it carry into Raiden in Metal Gear Rising? Revengeance? They had their own PMCs. Yeah, but, I mean, that, that meme uh, or that kind of but yes. you know, st way of storytelling, it, it, it stays consistent with him, the whole PMC thing. Yep, you're you're right. Frog suits, that's what they were called. And he the Kojima didn't unit. even do that. Oh yeah. Uh, but it was praying mantis. The frog units were all women too. Preuve amamont, which means octopus arms, raven sword, the French one. werewolf, and uh, what's werewolf mean? Oh, I'm joking. Come on. No, that's not the names. Brian, how do I get up? Triangle. Okay, it's triangle. Yeah. I swear. How did I save myself there? character does it he oh, fucking you bet you no <laughs> what the fuck Triangle. jesus h henry jesus henry christ oh Call yeah they had to the add trophy the support the shadow and the holy trinity yeah that's it seagulls stay away oh, close enough get up there get up there yeah, it's a trifecta um yeah, that MSF logo, though. It's dope. And then it, I didn't even finish the third aspect. You got the skull. You got the patch. But you've got the world. It's a military without borders. The logo is actually, uh, you know, makes sense to the imagery. Because there's no borders on the world, man. Though so he's, you're setting the stage. 
It's all on in an your oil. Mind. You're in international oil tanker waters. I'm just going to I'm just going to do this the whole way. It's going to take a while. But these people are just going to have to wait. Yeah. You can also crawl. But I I always like that in the uh outer heaven logo. Oh fuck, dude. That ain't going to work. That ain't going to work. What a shitty strut. There's no Is there a fucking checkpoint? <laughs> No, I don't know. No, there's no such thing. This part of the game is really where... Oh, no, there is. God, oh, thank you. Kojima. What a fucking guy. Oh, I didn't even turn this on. That's okay. We, had, we updated our computer today before we went live, and all kinds of shit went buggy on me. I had, like, my input audio sources change. Fucking it was weird. Windows was doing all kinds of shit. Uh, Thought you need, that you needed help you didn't need. You can also shimmy across bum, it bum, if bum, you bum, push bum, over. Fuck him. I said it. Uh, oh, dr oh, you got to be. Fuck okay, hold on, hold on. Let's bust out a big gun. And give me, give me a break. Huh? Why? Why me, huh? Why me, God? Why me? Give me a break. Let me be, will ya? So, so, oh, again? No, shoot. Get the gun. Get the gun. Shoot, 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 shoot. Okay. I should have just opened far. Another motherfucker. I'll keep throwing them at me. How much money you want to spend? Huh? I hope Gerlukovich gets a fucking good deal on these things, because... Yeah, you've destroyed a lot. Yeah, that's uh, a couple million, half a mil in drone technology right there. You got to remember, this is 2000... What's the timeline on this? 1990... 2001? Uh, well, the game came out in 2001. Is it set in 2001? I don't no, remember. No, it might be... Like 2012. No, it's not that far in the future. Is it? Check out set. That, that's something that I'm actually curious about. 2009. It's set in 09. Okay. That's what Quizno says in the chat. Thank you, Quizno. Dude. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Quizno. Is that right? Thanks. <clears throat> Hi, am I on the air? I know it's toasty. I'm not going to give you what you want. You expect it. Uh, there's... There's your mother base in Peace Walker. Yeah, I mean, I turned my shit orange, too. No, I mean, like, the... Oh, there, where you have a actual, like, it looks like an aircraft carrier yeah. landing, landing pad. <clears throat> yeah, I guess you guys had jets and shit instead of just choppers. Okay, I'm going to wait for this to run out. This timeline's pretty cool. It's just MetalGearTimeline.com. Oh, yeah. There was a cool... Man, I used to go to this Resident Evil site for one of those. It was uh, just a... T it was like a... Fuck, what was it? RE Net? Or RE Fan Yeah, Net I remember shit like that. And it had, a, it had a chronology of all the games, and then you could go into each game, and then you could... It had, a, like, JPEGs file. And it was just... Brrr, all the assets of the games. And I used to, like, just download and... Man, I love that site. <clears throat> but uh, Metal Gear timeline's pretty good. Look, it's got like it's got actual imagery. Yeah. That's really cool. They throw images and stuff in there. Yeah, so it's 2009. I was thinking about four, which is 2014. I'm just gonna sneak. And then Metal Gear Rising, I thought was later. Is it like 2045 or something? Something like that. It is. 2018. Who did Jetstream Sam work for? Was he also in Raiden's corporate? No, because they were kind of like rivals. Kind of, yeah. In the beginning, until, yeah. they, until they team up. And that's it. It ended with Raiden. Yeah. There'll be more. Capcom will They didn't put... Wait, they didn't, again. they didn't put the Capcom, fucking... Capcom, Konami. Konami. Yeah, right. They didn't put uh, Survive in here. What the hell? That's not... No canon. No survive and no acid or acid two. No. Not even. I don't think portable ops. Uh, portable ops should get. I think some of portable, maybe one. You got null. I mean, you got like a gray fox origin there. 
Um, nice. I almost want to put my RP sensor on. Cause Son of M-Hack put everything from the last generation on Switch. People will fucking rebuy it. No one cares. I need the node. Yeah. Oh, hey, uh, chat. Am I rebuying uh, Doom and Doom 2 now? Because I heard that Bethesda lifted... Well, you can actually crawl up and down stairs. I don't think you can do this in 5. And it sucks. It fucks you up. What? No, I'm pretty sure you can crawl upstairs in 5. I don't think you can, dude. I think you gotta dolphin dive it. Because that's what I do during FOBs. I dolphin dive up the fucking stairs and you get a little speed boost. I think it's just faster to do it that way than it is to actually crawl up. Can you crawl upstairs? Pretty sure you can. I thought you have to go. It makes you go prone. Oh, they're just watching this shit. Fuck all that then. Shell two L. Let's go L. I love this guy's videos, dude. E Depot. Fuck yeah, E Depot. Oh, wow. I don't know what country you're out of, but God bless it. I don't think they're even a voice. I think it's like all just text and toothpicks. <laughs> I watched so many E Depot videos on Phantom Pain. What am I knocking for? Uh, so Brian, I I want to yeah. I want to take a Skype call. There we go. All right. Uh, but I don't want to use Skype. I want to use Discord. Yes. Right? So I'm gonna use Discord. Now, why can't I open? I've got the level three card, but this uh -huh. shit's broken. Oh, maybe I had to have it equipped. No, because it yeah. works with my body's circadian rhythm. Yeah, it's just broken. That, but I couldn't get into this door earlier. Huh? Zombie Smasher, what's up? Yo, what up? What up? How you what doing? up, G? Yo, I'm I'm good. Just level trying five. to watching this, you know, watching the stream go from good audio to. Oh, the video cuts, and then good audio, and then video cuts. So, so it's uh, wow, it's given it's given you guys some flack. Well, we are locally recording, so we've learned our lesson. Yeah. And uh, when it goes up on Friday or hopefully Thursday night, it'll be untouched. Uh, but I do I do apologize. It, it might it's got to be on Twitch's end because we're not dropping any frames here. Well, there's a lot of factors it could be, so I, I don't blame you. Yeah, well, that sounds like you still want to blame me because I just said it's I, no, 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 ah, no, no, no. I don't blame you 100. No, like, like I, like I got stuff in the, like I got certificates and computer stuff, so I can't okay. blame okay. the person. It's got to be like we got to figure out the problem together. Yeah, right? you know what? And that's good. That's good something. troubleshooting. That's good troubleshooting right there. You don't want to, like, instantly weed anything out. But I I think, Brian, what would you say? We're 95% sure it's not on our end. Yeah, I mean, there's really not much we can do different. You know, they found out the podcast computer was all screwed up. That's why they got a new one last week, and I yeah. think that solved their problems. But you have a How was it new using computer? that new computer? It, I mean, it was just a faster version of what I'm used oh, to. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, we're only using 15% of our GPU yeah. right now. We're using about 26% of our CPU operating at a smooth 60 frames per second at 720p so we're not really you know pushing the limits on this thing uh that's just why i think it, it, it something must be going on with twitch but or the, isp the audio is where it's at anyway baby everyone knows that dylan stout knows that you know that too don't you did we lose our caller brian i can't see his name i love i always look over here to see the name and remind me that i'm talking to zombie smasher and then uh, I love it, too, when Brian will pull up, like, a Chrome window, and I look over, and it's like, ah, I can't see the name. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> but Zombie Smasher, um, um, yeah, I mean, you know what's up. It's audio, baby. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, audio's always good. I, I love listening to Twitch streams, you know, in the car, just audio only. God, so do I. I love, uh, I love, a, oh, fuck. I hit the wrong button, Brian. I hit triangle. Whew. I love all my podcasts that are probably huge in video format. I love listening to them. I never, I always hear them go like, for the audio listeners at home, and then the guest is always like, well, how many audio listeners do you have? And he's like, oh, quite a, a lot more, like triple what the video watchers are. 
Uh, so I think a lot of the bigger podcasts explain stuff anyway. Um, yeah. When you hear me swear directly into your earphones and blow out your eardrums, that's because I died. You can get a visual of that. You know, me falling <laughs> off the platform, etc. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I mean, I, I already knew what was going to happen when you first took the controller and Don't just it. fell off. I'm like, all right, cool. Starting from last week's stream. Oh, yeah. yeah. I had... I had, yeah. I mean, that was, I kind of, here's the thing. I, I felt guilty about ham fisting that self death in there. Right. You know, I kind of, you know, I did it for the joke. You know, it was the comedic uh, timing of it all. It, the, the mood struck me, as it were. But I know, I know you're not disappointed. I'm not disappointed. You're still, you're, I mean, you're, like, even, I, I, I remember first playing Metal Gear Solid 2, and I died a lot. Even with uh, video uh, issues, you know, you're still here with us, zombie. Yeah. Uh, okay, so before we uh, keep rattling, oh my god, keep uh, rattling on, <laughs> do you have a point or a question to the uh, Discord today? Uh, I don't really have a question, but I have oh, a what's point. What's your point? Give us like a, a, a hot topical take. Oh, we my gotta, hot topical take is yeah. We uh, need a segment, Brian. Hot topical takes. All right. Would <laughs> Would you consider the Twin Snakes canon in some point? Hmm. You know, like that's, it's not that different. I, I know it's not that different. It's just like there's a like a lot of people don't like the Twin Snakes. Yeah. I'm just like for me, when I first got my copy at Anime Expo 2015 for like 50 bucks, oh, and it shit. was like perfect. Perfect condition. Yeah. And I, I, I got home and I popped that sucker in. I was like, I love Metal Gear Solid 1 again. Yeah. You know, there's something about uh, it being rare, a rare disc, that if you yeah. have it and you're playing it, it, there's this extra juice you get out of uh, oh, that yeah. experience. Oh, yeah. And uh, I wouldn't say, I guess the initial question is like, is it canon? I, the story for MGS1 on PlayStation 1 is there, so that is canon. No real reason to retell or add. But it's still a great game. Yeah, uh, but like the way I always ask is like, would you consider it canon? Whether it is, would you make it canon? Is that in Metal Gear Solid Four, there, uh, in Chapter Four, you when you hear like the flashback stuff, it's the audio from the Twin Snakes. True. And then I, and I believe in some of the briefing missions, they or cut certain cutscenes, they show you all the older Metal Gears, and they show you like the Twin Snakes. Like perfect, like gameplay. Did like they? it's like you can tell us no, better yeah. graphics. I thought it went back. I no, thought the, I think it went as far back as PS One. And I thought that was funny because well, I remember laughing. Well, at there, that. It did go to PS One, but I was talking about like in like a cutscene. Yeah. For like a briefing or something, they actually show you Twin Snakes gameplay. So they. Oh. Do, I know that if, like actual gameplay, they go back to the PS One. If that's true, I'll say sure. We're going. We'll we'll go canon. I, I think it was... Because I, I know a lot of people... Uh, oh, I'm sorry. You, you go on? I think it's absolutely canon. It uses the same story. It's just kind of like, you know, a little bit more over the top. So I don't think that there's anything in there that isn't in the original game that, like, you know, you're losing. It's just whether you like the original version or the re-recorded version. Um, yeah. It, it just felt more balanced, and it was more fun to play. Like, I enjoyed playing Twin Snakes more than I enjoy playing the original PS1 version of Metal Gear. That, I, I, I mean, the, that's the, me, though. Like, the biggest thing for me is is that the line where Liquid Snake's all like, you enjoy all the killing. That's why. And I'm like, joke's on <laughs> you, Liquid Snake. I use the tranquilizer gun. Yeah. I didn't kill your comrades. Yeah. Oh, right, right, right. So I mean, there is that. Yeah, I, I, you know, I have fond memories of that game. Uh, I, I, I don't know if I would consider it canon, but I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't talk any shit on it. And if they oh, really okay. did use like audio, even just audio, then that's enough to make me think like, uh, what is this oh, yeah. fucking? Just open the app, you piece of shit. Okay, I'm gonna miss this whole conversation. I missed the fucking conversation, Brian. Okay. I guess I guess we answered your question. It's loading again. <laughs> the fucking cutscene's over. Oh hey, this thing actually works sideways again. Oh perfect. 
How do you know the right font? I don't know. What is that? When what? everything is to overwhelm. Well, hey, thanks, uh, thanks, zombie. No, no problem. Thanks for having me. All right. <laughs> Game Hunter changes no the problem. font. Gate Hunter. Take care, man. Y'all take care. Keep up with, keep, keep, make sure you have good health. Say that again? All right. Yep. So make sure you have good health. Up next, we have Eli. One more time? Oh, he's gone. Fuck. Fuck. Okay, Brian. We're gonna. I don't know the words, uh, other than like, that part. Well, that's all right. I Dance like, like thunder, rave like rain. I don't think that's what it is, but... <gasps> Sorry! Uh, you know, last week I played, uh, or a couple weeks ago, I played Temple of Love, the D the DDR song. This is a different ver- you know, <laughs> same same title, totally different thing, though. Uh, Brian, I, I see you talking to Armadillo in there. Yeah. Um, does he want to get on? Apparently in China they got that they got that ban on Discord. What is he in China right now? I would assume that the, they're banning Discord. Unless I that's saw just crazy a fun fact of the shit. day. 
I saw some shit on Twitter today yeah. about uh, the protest going on there with the fucking government and with how the Hong the, Kongese. And I saw some other stuff. I saw some video about how they deal with tear gas. Yeah. These ingenuitive motherfuckers out there look like fun. I also saw them shining lasers in the facial recognition cameras. Although it looked like they were shining lasers into the film cameras That's that the smart. video was being filmed with. But as we found out, like you can burn up the sensor in DSLRs. Oh yeah. With a fucking high powered enough laser. I yeah. wonder if you could damage some of these uh, surveillance cameras with that. I'm sure you absolutely could. What what's uh so wow, there's a Discord ban. Is uh Bummer. Bummer. Well, he's probably out there shining lasers and shit, you know. Because uh, that's what I saw on social media. So, obviously, it must be happening all, all over the whole country. All over the country. That's everywhere. China's, like, small, right? Like, it, not yeah. a small population? Yeah. Not that many? Nah. Just a couple. Yeah, okay. A couple ten people. Yeah. So, fuck, dude. Sorry to hear about it. Sorry, bro. Um. Hope you're okay. Oh shit, can I go in here? KL Connecting Bridge. Fuck, we've been out here. Oh, this is probably where I came in, isn't it? <laughs> exactly where we came in, and we listened Aww. to... Oh, God. Okay, so now that I'm reoriented... So the floor is all electrified here. That's basically yes. what this long... Uh, talk with the colonel was yeah now you gotta fire a stinger missile but we gotta find the stinger missile which is downstairs yeah and there are people here aren't there i don't know i need a nerd it's on the other side of the room come on get the nerd i don't see the president oh i got a life meter on him must be synced in reading his vitals Anyone up there? I want to look before I leap, but Brian, do you want to drop in another caller? Sure. Let's talk to Quizno. Quizno, how's it going? Yo, what's up? What's up, what's Quizno? What's up? How you doing, First bud? time, long time. Ooh, I, like I can't those. believe so, I can't uh, believe it. Last week, I have, I have a question for Garrett. Last week, you were talking about hardcore and... And straight edge is, I think, what you said before the mic cut out. But oh, last week you were talking about hardcore and straight edge. <laughs> it did it in the same place, Brian. I know it's straight edge, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, we get, we got you. Yeah, last week we were talking about that. that yeah, business. yeah. Uh, what would you say are your like top three hardcore, top or three? even like hidden gems you would like to mm, talk about? Top three hardcore bands, okay, or hidden gems. I would say get the Nikita first, you son of a bitch, you. Um, man. I would say that that Strife album I mentioned, Strife in this Defiance, great hardcore album. It'd be hard not to pick an Earth Crisis. Uh, well, like one, Firestorm, two. that's a goddamn Firestorm's good. Yeah, it's so. You start with some early shit too, like uh, what was that song about the Trail of Tears? Was that the B side on Firestorm? Oh, here's the Node. Um, uh, I don't think so. I'm going through Earth Crisis right now. I started at Firestorm. It's, so it's like really recent to me. I, I it's don't... a good album. They got like way metal, and then they switched uh, off of Victory. Yeah, Records. they went new metal at one point. Yeah, I heard it was, that. That was, Carl, it was weird. I remember the lead singer. His name was Carl Buchner. Buchner? The Earth, Earth Crisis was that real East Coast influence that I got because I saw these motherfuckers Cleveland. on stage in Adidas shorts and like athletic gear, and I was going, what the fuck? Are these guys jo like that was straight up East Coast hardcore style was so different than ours on the West Coast. I remember me and my buddies started dressing like that shit though when we saw like uh, on album covers and stuff like, yo, these guys got the champions. You got you got to oh, get the champions. the champions. Yeah. You got to get the champions. Carl Buckner. Yeah, Carl wearing Buckner. like Letterman's like like you. <laughs> um so okay. But I, but I don't know if I'd pick uh you know, we we we've, we've mentioned them so that's cool, but I don't know if I'd pick that as a top three. Definitely that Strife album. Um, I accidentally mentioned that Hatebreed album, Satisfaction is the Death of Desire. Oh, yeah, that's that's my number one. That's, that's pretty fucking, like, genre-defining, I would say. Um, shout out to... What's that guy? He's, he works for Sirius now, lead singer. 
Oh, of uh, Hatebreed? Yeah, he's a Stern fan, but he DJs on... Jamie Josta. Uh, Jamie Josta, yeah. Can't Hard to forget, but I did. Whoops. Easy for you. <laughs> yeah, easy for you. Um, man, what what's another great hardcore album? I mean, local stuff, like, I love Built to Last, so... Um, and knowing is half the battle was probably like their biggest, uh, like their most production value studio album. So I'll throw that in there. And knowing is half the battle, built to last. Very, uh, very good. Very influential on me in the San Diego scene. There were a lot of great San Diego bands though. Like a hidden gem I'll mention was a band called Forced Life. I, a guy Tommy, I think was his name, sang. Uh, kind of yeah. called t- tall, skinny, blonde guy. I think I played some Force Life before. Or no, Force Life turned into Tommy's next band was a band called Dodging Bullets in the Sa- I think the name of the band was Do- everyone just called them Dodging Bullets, but I think the full name was Dodging Bullets in the Soundtrack to the End of the World. And I've played clips of that on the show before too. But yeah, Force Life was uh, this might have been like demo tape only stuff. I don't even know if I had CD if I have CDs of this stuff. I know I have a, For- a Force Life tape. I but like they're... that low quality stuff though. I love like, yeah. I love Hatebreed, but I love their like first EP. Um, Is that the one with the Kill an Addict on it? I think it was Hatebreed that had a song that was really, really rough against fucking people addicted to drugs, called Kill an Addict. Um, but that's what hardcore yep. hardcore was all about. Yeah, I remember. I have a seven inch of that. <laughs> Just uh, look up the lyrics. I love hardcore lyrics. Like I loved reading. I quoted this. Uh, All right. What are, what are the lyrics? I'm just gonna read them. Yeah. Forget beginning. Shh. <laughs> what is it? Uh, you made excuses for the fucked up things you've done, but everyone's heard them before. You're lying and stealing to feed your addictions. Won't be tolerated anymore. I tried to help you, but you spit in my face. So now you're on your own. I see your life slipping away. You brought it on yourself. Go. Those I've hated are the ones that I've held so close, and those who use betrayal will be the ones to suffer, the ones to suffer the most. I think that's that Earth Crisis influence. Dude, I, yeah. I know Jamie Josta said that. Killing Earth Addict. Crisis was a big influence for them. Yeah, I got that 8-inch. Eight, eight I, I do got that 8-inch. He inch, does have that 8-inch. But I got that 7-inch, too. A little Freudian slip of the Whoops. tongue. Oh, Brian. I've already got the... I gotta find the Nikita. I guess the only option's down here. You have here. to keep going. Keep going. But this is broken. Yeah, no, I think you go up and you gotta go downstairs. Oh, uh, I guess I haven't. Oh, yeah, there's an elevator here. Duh. You might have to go to the basement for that. Yeah. Yeah, it's. It, it's I know just it's like Metal Gear. Right, one. right. Where we it's would like go to all find of Vulcan. them. I'm yeah. replaying uh, Metal Gear on the MSX. Oh, and it's really? It's the same thing. You gotta get the. You gotta get the. Uh, you gotta get the, get the Nikita to take out the electric. Yep. Same old, same old. Awesome. Well, <clears throat> yeah, man. Uh, good hardcore talk. I'm surprised I'm recalling all these band names and album uh, titles. Like, I can't remember music that I've gotten into post-2005. I can't remember the names of albums and shit. Like, uh, barely. So it's weird I, I'm recalling all these names. That's the imprinting. Yeah, an- another good one's Judge bringing it down. I love oh, that. Judge. Yeah, Judge I remember. Um, someone brought ten up yard fight. a 10 yard fight after we were talking about, uh, yeah, the old school stuff for me was ma- aside from those two. I really like gorilla biscuits and uh, minor threat. Uh, but someone brought oh, yeah. up, that's where I start. Someone brought up a band name. It was either in the discord or when I was looking at the YouTube comments or something. Uh, did I ever go to a Bane show and fuck? Yes. I forgot about Bane was the shit. And, uh, yeah, there was some fucking, like, Bane choreography, like, dance pits back in the day that I would definitely jump in on and be a part of. <clears throat> back, Worcester, uh, Massachusetts. Worcester. They're still going, too, huh? Uh, looks Lo- like... That looked like a recent photo. That kid looked like he was dressed as Ness from fucking... They put out an album as recently as 2014. Okay, shit. Shit. Yeah, they might be on a reunion or something. Chromax shit. Uh, they played their last show June 18th, 2016. Yeah, all, all this hardcore stuff is getting this revival, and I think it's really Yeah, cool. Half Heart just had a reunion like last month. Uh, I think it's these guys finally have time after their kids got a little older. Yeah. Hey, you know what? Another honorary mention, a band called Morning Again. 
I think they were Canadian, and they just fucking ripped. They were so fucking good. Uh, uh, a band out of Thousand Oaks, California, Countervale. Um, I think I've used to definitely play their music on the PPS back in the day. Back in the old studio days. Countervale, uh, Empty Hand for a Heart, I think was an album. Yeah, all that shit was so good. So good. Pretty much like I would go to Music Trader and off the record and I would just look for Victory Records logo in all the CDs. There you and go. Just pop, pop it out and anything Victory Records, that was my jam. And then local stuff, I just always bought seven inches and cds and demo tapes blue and meanie records me man. and my friends tape traded and blue it, meanie records had this shit it was awesome and i missed that place i yeah dude i used to buy like misfits patches for my fucking everything there. there dude they were the best <laughs> specialty store for music they yeah really were blue meanie out in el cajon there was a pretty good metal shop out in El Cajon a couple years back that was, I think, the guy who ran. Because Blue Meanie pretty much, towards its the end of its life, it turned into just a straight-up metal shop. Oh, yeah. That's what was great about it. Yeah. Um, and then there was a place down on 2nd Street that opened up. Anyway. Well, that was the backup Blue Meanie. The good old days of music, man. Record shop. Still good stuff out there. You just yeah. got to find it. Yeah, you just got to find it. That's a, that's a thing. Like, uh... My my good buddy Gluminati, he showed me this band Mutant. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, I know that band. M V T A N T, like they're so fucking awesome, and uh, they're out of Texas, and it's just like everything I want to, everything that could have been a B side on Pretty Hate Machine, or you know, but like the way this guy makes his music too is like so sick. These guys are showing all the inside tricks on social media now, and like that's something you never had before. As a fan of these bands and stuff, until I was in a band, I didn't know what the fuck it was like to record anything or fucking jam or play any, you know. Oh, Gluminati's here giving a shout-out to me. Oh, you. shouts the fuck out. These guys on social media now, it, it is, it is, you know, I long for the good old days sometimes. Right. But that's just me being nostalgic. Like, shit's badass in a different way now. Yeah, it's just different. It's a different platform, different medium. I mean, we yeah, had how TV. How swim? Uh, X. I had MTV, dude. I mean, like... The first shit I got into was what was, I mean, fucking Black Hole Sun, Soundgarden. Yeah. Nevermind by Nirvana. Like, it was uh, fucking every, you know, every music video that was on MTV is what kind of got, piqued my interest after I raided. You know, there was the initial raiding of my parents' stuff. Oh, yeah. Which was cool, because then it was like What'd you pick Bowie, up there? Yeah. Bowie, Michael Jackson, um... Fucking fog hat, uh, deep purple kiss, but which I didn't really connect with. Pink yeah. Floyd. I have really vivid memories of my parents' eight track collection over their record collection. For the record collection, the most vivid memory I have is the album artwork from Bad Out of Hell by Meatloaf. Yeah. Which I didn't enjoy or appreciate other than the album artwork I would just fucking stare at as a kid all the time. And the music, I was like, ah, this, this yeah, is some, it's a little weird. This is some weird shit. But then as an adult, I fucking, like, Paradise by the Dashboard Lie is such a well-written song, <laughs> lyrically uh, and, and musically. Like, uh, that album's fucking, it's heat. It's fire. Hey. da ba da, -ba -da. To use some technical uh, modern terminology. And his name is Robert Paulson, so... His name comes full circle. Jim Steinman. Yeah, that's the guy who wrote all that music. Yep. Meatloaf is kind of a... Isn't that weird when you found that out? Like, Elton John is, like, the front man for... Is it Barry something? Or I don't remember. But, like, a lot of these musicians are just a mouthpiece for a, a writer. Like, Sia has written so many fucking pop hits. Oh, yeah. And, but, you know, as a kid, Lemmy watching, did that all watching the time. MTV, I didn't know that shit. Lemmy did that all oh, the time. Oh, he ghost time. wrote? He, he ghost wrote for Madonna. He go yeah, like Lemmy. Lemmy Kielmeister. Yep. What the fuck? He's a badass. He is. I know it's here, but I, mm -hmm. not there. It's the other way. Is there a vent? Oh, oh, oh. No, it's not here. Well, any last uh, requests before I let you go? 
quit uh, Quizno. All I want to say is Solidus, Solidus did nothing wrong. All right. Hey, Damn the you know Patriots. What? All right, and now we know that's the president that who was talking to uh, Ocelot at the end. George Sears. Thank there you, Quizno. You Thank you, Quizno. Right. Great call. What a great call. A Thank good, you, a Quizno. A good call, good, good connection. Good call, good sandwich. Did we have connection issues? At first? It kind of was going. Look at that album artwork, Brian. Bad yeah. Out of Hell is just a fucking... Not that. That's some bullshit. That's something else. Oh, this, that's a musical. This this painting, it's fucking gorgeous, dog. I was remember I said I want a bat. Look at the bat on there. Whoa! I should get that tattooed, bro. Then people nah. think I'm like a big meatloaf fan. Exactly. Though. See, that's the that's the way I think about it. That's exactly why how I think about it. it it's it's always like I was all like, right. nah. People will be like, oh, Metal Gear. It, you got that fox yep. tattoo, and I was like, oh, I don't want that. Yep. Do I want do I want to be the guy oh, that wait, people right remember there. as having the Majora's Mask tattoo, or do I want to be remembered as Brian? When people meet me, you know, like, like that's like, why your tattoos are cool because you have to look at them to really tell what they are, and then once you do, there it is, Volgan. Uh, that's the Volgan doll, or Vulcan right? Raven. Vulcan oh. Raven. Oh shit, who that? Where's uh, my Where's my breath? It's oh, fine. yeah, behind me. Okay, we're going. You're gonna have to go to the corridor to your right. We're, I'm going up. I'm going. I'm going. Is it here? Yeah, no, yeah, bomb. Ah, so yeah. oh, oh, fuck. Oh, that's piss. a that's game over. Oh, that's a pisser. Fuck. We didn't do this in VR. Definitely did not. No. Oh, did I hit that? I did. Okay. At least we know where we're going now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Mm. Oh, Brian. Yes. The calls have me. been great. They do, have. Do we dare take another? I, yeah, so why not? close. Yet so far. I don't need any weapons right now. Maybe it might help with thermal goggles down there. Let's talk to son of M Hack. We haven't talked to son of M Hack in a while. Oh shit. What How's up, M Hack? How's it going? You've been uh, around a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you for your continued support. I'm so glad and you love. I'm so glad you picked up actually. I, I knew exactly what I wanted to talk about. Oh hell Thanks. yeah. Uh, let yeah. me pause the stream oh. here. Oh shit. I'm excuse me. What did we, uh, what were we going to talk about? Uh, I'm, I've got a plan. I've oh. been kind of holding off on it for a while. I've got to watch the last two episodes of Ava tonight because I've had this watch through oh, I've been shit. doing and I've been waiting for kind of something else to come in. Last two episodes. As far as like comparing media. Okay. And what I have here, I got recently during a Sentai uh, fire sale they were having. Uh, really, really good cheap anime deals uh, from Sentai Filmworks. Oh, uh, check okay. them out. Uh, the uh, the the Space Runaway Ideon. I'm not sure if you've ever heard of it. I have not. Is that older? It is older. It's from the same guy who made Gundam. But the oh, really? Im most important thing about this series, as it relates to Evangelion, is the movie e Be Invoked. Be Invoked. Okay. Be invoked. Okay. Sounds to like say, a... to say to say to say to have something be invoked. Yeah. Okay. Sounds like a Salt and Pepper album. <laughs> uh, it's it's a really cool movie about like outer space battles essentially, and oh, the way okay. I've always compared this, Anno's claimed that this was this movie was a real big inspiration to him as sort of an anime director. Really. Okay. And the way I've compared it is like Ideon is all about like outer space and like almost a corrupted view of a star trek story about like space exploration being interrupted by war and people not being able and like people who are humans like essentially looking at each other but saying you're an alien oh uh, bureaucracy getting in the way yeah and uh okay. and then whereas ano what Identity he tried politics. to do was more of a inner space journey the right. enemy isn't actually something outside of you it it's is you. people hurting each other and not being able to take care of themselves. Well, right. God, how relatable is that to the world we live in? And so that's one of the things I just I really like about sort of looking at the history of anime and how directors have influenced mm. each other and the st emotional stories they've tried to tell. I'll uh, I'll have to look into that. It's just a movie. It's not a series. No, it's a series. Uh, there is actually actually like uh, just like Evangelion, uh. there is a compilation movie. Uh, the first one is called A Contact. Just like Death and Rebirth, there's okay. a part one, and then there's the end. Okay, I got gotcha. you. 
And so you could either sift through the series or uh, check out the uh, compilation movies. Uh, the series is very much a it it really is a weekly robot rob, robot baddie movie where a show where the you know bad the bad guy empire sends their new robot in to try and take out the the good guys and that right, that kind of yeah. draws out with the with the rest of the story that I wouldn't want to spoil. I am a mech uh, head, but I, I something has never clicked with me and the Gundam style of animation. I don't know why. It's um, very old school. It's from it's from a previous era, okay, and you cool. have to like appreciate sort of the the low fidelity qualities of it. Is what I kind of dig. Yeah, we were right. di we were talking about that low fidelity music earlier, and I can dig uh, I can dig that in animation for sure. I, Where I can you can totally just sort of see that. the the work that they're trying to do in depicting things in motion with tricks. Yeah, I mean, it's hell, weird. I could watch that fucking uh, <laughs> opening to Daikon. Four or whatever it was, like a hundred times. I, I I just love that. I did get uh, I did also get another piece of a uh, like something a little more modern, uh, a Blu-ray. I've I've never had this in my collection. I've seen it at friends' houses for years, this and I've always another... like I've always been like, man, uh, I've always Filmworks? wanted to own this. Uh, this one, yeah, this one was also on, during the Sentai uh, okay. sale. It's the Blu-ray of Ninja Scroll. Oh fuck yeah, dog! That oh, yeah. that is what like. Uh... I cut my teeth on banana video, baby. You got manga banana. core. That's that. That's yeah, from that was from the old days of manga entertainment when they first had those VHSs. Out. This was yeah. this was that this was that cartoon that you wanted to make sure mom and dad didn't catch you watching. Yeah, fuck no, dude. That big old rock motherfucker sliding two fingers into that ninja girl in the beginning. Like what the fuck? Fuck. I've never seen anything Piss like off. this. Uh, and then, uh, what? you know, Jubei's whole story. The that story and the whole like being a badass and like losing the girl and walking off in slow motion during the credits like i fucking there's so much like cheese ball shit that i love no no I yeah that, this that is movie. yeah this is this is definitely like pulp anime film yeah. for sure oh yeah sci-fi channel late night hell yeah finally get it unedited from the video store and mom and dad aren't home damn Shit was bad. You know, ass. speaking of those Sci-Fi Channel days and when anime was on TV, did anybody ever see when Vampire Hunter D was on Cartoon Network? Uh, Bloodlust or the first? The movie? original, the first movie. I did. I didn't watch it. Though. I don't. Yeah, I don't remember. It's because yeah, like I always had I a watched VHS it later. You know I saw weird? it on both channels. Okay. And th this is the interesting thing. For some reason, Sci-Fi Channel kept in. Most of the violence, the Cartoon Network edited out, and Cartoon Network kept in the swears. Huh. Oh, weird. D different, d different business models. Yeah, I got the it's... DVD later on and watched the full thing. I think I have a Blu-ray of that now. I, it's, it's so bad. I like. That's another track. one I got. Oh, fuck. I lose track of the media I have and don't have. I, I, I will hold off on buying shit though because I don't want to buy it a second. I'm so afraid of buying something twice. I just don't. And then, uh, and then I find out, like, oh, I, I don't have this? Fuck. Uh, kind of related to D. Uh, the last thing I got in the deal, uh, uh, Yoshitaka Amano, who's responsible for the look of Vampire Hunter D and some of our probably favorite Final Fantasy games yeah. in the earlier series, uh, 1 through 6, he's credited with the, and 14. The, Amano's name is all over the art design for 14. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, this one called uh, Kashan the Robot Hunter. Wait, I've heard of that. But I never, I've Kishan, never seen If you that. look at Kashan, the reason that there's no rush in Mega Man X is because Capcom knew they would get sued. Oh, like literally, if you look, if you if you look at Kashan and this dude with his robot dog, it, it the comparison to Mega Man X is completely undeniable. And this oh, was yeah. originally back in what was the original year for 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 Kashan. You'd think you would have it on the box here, but it just has the release date for the uh, DVD. For that one. For the Blu-ray. Uh, this thing goes all the way back, though. I, I Back to the Vampire Hunter D, it's so interesting how I first saw that. I was at my friend Kyle's house, and I think we were getting drunk off of... Uh, Brian, you ever just pour a little bit from each liquor bottle into a coffee mug? It's kind of like a suicide of booze. I have a video where I do a shot of a line of eight different alcohols. But when you're a kid, like, you don't <laughs> want to get caught stealing mom's drink. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I remember he's like, we're just going to – she doesn't mark her bottles, but let's just take a little out of each one and pour it in a mug each. So Smart. We, we, Smart. We got away with it. Uh, but we he showed me a cassette tape of Vampire Hunter D, and for some reason there was this tape going around 
that he showed me, and then I got a copy from him that night. I was like, bro, let me borrow this. I want to copy it. Yeah. It was Vampire Hunter D with the entire Bauhaus, uh, like, album soundtrack. I don't know where this came from or where it what? originated or if anyone ever has... Uh, like, they it spliced was, it together? It was weird. Yeah, it was like... It was the video of Vampire Hunter D, but it was like a big music video for... I can't remember which album it was. That's tight. But I think it it, it was... It was it might have been an arrangement of a bunch of Bauhaus songs, or it might have just been one album all the way through. But that was the soundtrack. This, this fucking... <laughs> weird like hey here's like this two hour anime video for Bauhaus and that's what I was told it was I was like oh wow this is a cool Bauhaus music video man like it's a whole album video like how weird only later did I realize like no this is a movie called Vampire Hunter D and I, I do I remember actually that video. rented it I do remember that seeing do you that video seeing that maybe yes. it's a San Diego yes. thing I do remember seeing that I also remember um oh fuck what was it I just lost another thing where I thought it was Totally real for so long. Um, you want to equip that on your AK? Yes. Thank you for reminding me. You're a god. Hey, uh, I'm wait, so glad how you're do playing I do this game? game. Yeah, you just have them both, uh, both uh, selected at the same time. This game day. is like this was like my, the first time my dad yeah. understood that like a game could be a movie. Yeah. yeah. You know what? I think about the Metal Gear franchise and my father a lot. Really? Because I always think like. I don't know how I could do Coach this. Gmos probably wants you to think that. <laughs> well, my thing is like he played some games. Like when we were kids, like he played Tyson's Punch Out. Like oh yeah, that's like I got Mario and Zelda two. He got Mike Tyson's Punch Out that Christmas. Ooh. Uh, but you know he played that. He played like SOCOM on PS two because I remember I got him a PS two because they were like we want a DVD player. I was like get this one. Um. I got him a PS3 for the same thing. They wanted a Blu-ray player. I was like, just get this. And then I think I got him some light gun games. Like, I got him Time Crisis and a light gun for PS3. And I think he played that a little. But he never really got into it. You know, he never really got into gaming. But I wonder with Metal Gear Solid if I could ever sit him down and do, like, just a concentrated, like, run through of the game. Maybe. And, and, and sit him down and be like, hey... This, if we played this together, this would be, like, the most badass espionage movie. Oh, yeah. That would be, like, four hours long, but we'll play it in sittings. Like, I'll come over on Sundays and just fucking show you Metal Gear. But I don't know. I, I really think he would not have an interest in that. <laughs> but maybe that's just me inside my head, Brian. Could be. Never hurts to it probably, ask. It probably is. Never I mean... hurts to ask. I'll wait till uh, hey, one day. Uh, maybe he's laid up with like a sprained ankle or something. I'll get him as a, a, a captive audience, you know. Hey, I better let you get back to the game. Thanks for taking my sure. call. Sure. Thank, Thank you. you what a M hack is a great caller. Yeah. What a, what a super Peace, y'all. Peace. <laughs> That's great. The shit together and everything, though. Ah. Uh, you know, we talked all about hardcore. It'd be great if I had some of that queued up. Or even the Bauhaus conversation mm -hmm. we just had. It'd be great if I had that queued up, wouldn't it, Brian? Yes, and I remember what it was. It was people who would show me uh, files of Wizard of Oz with Dark Side of the Moon put under it. Oh, like an actual tape. Yeah. So you didn't see the Bauhaus. Basic I saw premise. the Bauhaus thing, so and I saw thing. this. Yeah, like uh, with a Divix encoder, and people were like, check it out. Oh. I said it so that you can hear it now. You don't even have dark to do side. the thing. When I, did the like, dark oh side, when I did the Dark Side, I wonder if that'll be on Twitter now as the Dark Side Challenge. Yeah. But when I did Dark Side of the Moon, <laughs> I fucking had to get the, uh, I guess, cassette... And then we watched uh, when it was on TV, I think, whatever. What it, oh. We looked up in TV Guide, like, when is fucking, what's the movie? <laughs> uh, the Wizard of, of the Oz. The, when's the Wizard of Oz on next? And it was like, scanning through weeks, weeks. Oh, TMC, here it is. Wizard of Oz, Technicolor version, Monday at 4.30. It was like, all right, let's, I, I must have done it with my buddy Steven. Because oh. I remember hearing about that in high school, and it was like, "Yeah, me let's too. Tr let's try it. Let's try it. It's a good album. Good ass album. <laughs> and another good ass song by our lovely fingers. Ooh, going back to an old favorite, that Colonel AI, very relevant to our game here. Right? Are you receiving? We'll be right We're back. Still here? Who are you? 
to begin with were not what you'd call human. Over the past 200 years, a kind of consciousness formed layer by layer in the crucible of the White House. It's not unlike the way life started in the oceans four billion years ago. He's dead. We are formless. We are the very discipline and morality that Americans invoke so often. It's strange. How can anyone hope to eliminate us? As long as this nation exists, so will we. But in the current digitized world, trivial information is accumulated every second, preserved in all its triteness, never failing, always accessible. Yep. The S3 plan does not stand for solid snake simulation. Yeah. What it does stand for is selection for societal sanity. Sanity. You seem to think that our plan is one of censorship. Are you telling me it's not? You're being silly. What we propose to do is not to control content, but to create context. Create context? The digital society furthers human flaws and selectively rewards development of convenient half-truths. Everyone withdraws into their own small gated community, afraid of a larger forum. They stay inside their little ponds, leaking whatever truth suits them into the growing cesspool of society at large. The different cardinal truths neither clash nor mesh. No one is invalidated, but nobody is right. Not even natural selection can take place here. The world is being engulfed in truth. And this is the way the world ends. Not with a bang, but a whimper. Very good one. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh. Yeah. I got one question, man. Tell me who next. See, I'm the best, man. I did it. We are back. Oh, <laughs> we are back. Um, I do uh, want to skip through here. All right. Oh, no, we're not in a... I thought we were in a codec call, but I was wrong. Um... This elevator is where... No, I still haven't taken the damn thing. Or, no, wait, did we drown? Did we get... No, we got everything. I got I got my AK, I got my thermal... Or my night vision. That was the new thing we picked up, and I haven't checked yeah. those out yet. Oh, no, that's we, nice. We got, uh, we got thermal goggles. That was the thing we got down when we swam yeah, down there? Yeah, because I think you had night vision before. Oh, oh that's right. Uh, but thank God for small favors. Thank Let's go God. up to the rations. Oh, the elevator. I already called it. I was just waiting on it. Back up to one. We got the Nikita. We're going to get some Nikita ammo around this corner here. Did I not hit it? This fucking guy. This fucking guy. This guy. A fangul. Is that, a th is that Italian? Probably. Is that okay to say? I don't know what it means. Nothing's okay to say. Could be a gamer word. Where did that come about? You 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 guys were streaming uh, the other day, Brian. Oh yeah, big Ye dogs. Yesterday we were talking about um, PewDiePie getting angry during his game, saying a gamer word and saying gamer he, words. He had a heated gamer moment. You know, we I mean we've all had a gamer moment, right? Like, I've had many gamer moments on this stream. Bro. I know you had one earlier, and I, and I just I mean it's a gamer word. You get so angry, you have so much anger inside of you, you have to let it out with the most. The trill word that you can think of, or phrases, or whatever. I suck a fart out of my ass. Yeah, that was Dominic's gamer like, moment. That was literally a gamer moment for him. The worst thing you could think. And if you like, oh, let, I don't know. I would make excuses for pews. Let's. No, no. I mean, no. he certainly bounced back. No, just like, to, just to define the word. I no mean, love lost. Let's, yeah, yeah. Let, forget about PewDiePie's. Let's like think of the suck a fart out of my ass. Okay, yeah. Better example. <laughs> Imagine. 
doing that. It's like. Oh man. Well, it, it depends like, on what ass. No, I, yeah, it's fair, but. I uh, mean, you know what though? I don't know. Methane. No, I mean like probably liter- damage but, like, your insides. A fart in to your face, like straight up. Yeah, in I your don't mouth want that you're sucking. That's what I'm saying. Cake like, fart style. It's so gross. Blast. Yeah, it's I, I, so gross. I can't imagine being like super close. Yeah. So you're trying to think of a to word a that fucks with people's brains when they hear it. Yeah. You want to? So you don't wanna, use them. I want to see the world burn. Don't use them. Uh, why'd Be I go smart. lethal? Do you have uh, the stinger? I said I want to see the world burn, and I went lethal. Like, uh, yeah, I got the stinger, but if I go first person, that's the end. But I know I remember it being in here that you can shoot it through. There's but a there's grate also... that you can see, but I don't know if you can shoot through. Here. Okay, this is just where the extra ammo is. Let me yeah. pick up some. You gotta throw a chaff. Got first. tons of chaff, baby. We're going with it. Ching ching. Does he bite it and throw it? The animation's cool. Be a lot cooler if he did. I can't believe you Googled and found Session 9 earlier. Oh, yeah. Great ghost great. story. We've been rec- uh, recommending a lot of hardcore music. <coughs> and also, that is such a great ghost story. Oh, yeah. I have to see that. It's- I mean, I'm calling it a ghost story because it's like, it's such a psychological horror movie. It's t- type That's where it is. Thing. There it is. You're right. I think that was everything. Oh, that's where the go- the hole in the ground is. You can fire it through there, too. Yeah, th- or, or you can go up. I remember if I go up here. Yeah, and I think this is the easier. The easier of the of the few. Yeah, but you have to crouch before you fire. Let's get down, and let's equip the Nikita. No. Yeah. The Stinger. Stinger, yes. there you go. Stinger. No. Nikita. Well, Nikita. Uh, yeah. Nikita is what we got. Stinger is what Snake had. Yes, and now I got it. Yeah, because you just okay. picked up ammo. Here we for go. It. Blast off. Ah! Uh, oh, maybe I was wrong. You Shit. I was wrong. To the right, to the right. Oh, oh self destruction. At it again. Right. I fucking hate. Who is that band? Uh, oh, it's behind you. Fuck! Oh, man. Was that, um. I don't know. Uh, I fell into a burning ring of fire. Not. Not Johnny Cash. Not Johnny Cash, but the... Who the fuck? What is that band? They sing that song about AIDS? What the fuck? Anal Cunt? No. (laughs) No, uh... God, is it... I'm laughing too fucking hard. I want to see what the... IRL Twitch chat. What's that band? Oh, my God. Shitty band. They got played on 91X so much here. What is happening? I don't know. What are you doing? I'm getting too, uh... I blame the Logitech controller. Oh, my phone's ringing again, though. Do I... T- it, oh, it's right. just I'm telling you what you have to do. Yeah, I know, but it's so cool. Yeah, and you know it. what we couldn't do? that's not in the American version. We, It's really not. Yeah, that's what somebody was saying last week. And we couldn't do this last time, but now I think we can. Oh, yeah, we can see what it said. We did it last week. No, it didn't work because uh, I didn't... I had oh, bought, right. I bought a new uh, HDMI splitter. So now I can do our Google Translate trick. But what was that fucking band? Oh, they suck. You gotta search it for me, cause oh, social distortion. Jordan oh, Jones. Oh, social D. <laughs> Thank God. I just do not. There's certain bands you dislike. Oh yeah. You know, uh, what's that one people shit on? T- uh, Chad Kroger's the lead singer of. Is it? Uh, they're Canadian. <laughs> what? Oh, Nickelback. Nickelback. Yeah, everyone likes to shit on Nickelback. But I don't know. I they're just they just exist. But I dislike Social D. Social D. I, yeah, I'm with you. I Shout was wrong. Self destruction. Fuck you, Mike Ness. Is that his name? Who's Mike Ness? That's a different one. These are all names you're pulling out. Crazy uh, we're talking about old music, and it just turned a switch on inside my brain that I can't. Uh, yeah, I can't he's really understand. Guitarist, vocalist, and producer in chief, songwriter for Social D. How do I know this? I don't know. <laughs> when it comes to fucking rock trivia, like I've watched Rock and Roll Jack pretty Jesus before, Christ. and I'm really surprised at how well I do. Holy shit! A, it's something that, we were talking about music earlier, and it just flipped a switch on me. Uh, now I can't remember Metal Gear terms though. In one ear, out the other. Southwest dark small room from remote control. Fly the missile below. 
Okay, okay. Do it below. Did it change? Oh, wait. Ease of power supply. It be able should. Lay it down. Lay, I'll, I'll fucking lay it down, Brian. Lay it down. Ah. I love when everything's working again. Yeah, me too. I have asthma, and sometimes shit don't work. I am so fucking pissed. Kevin gets a little uh, upset for me, but... Yeah, easy. Oh! I get out of it. <clears throat> Kevin and Rocco bring me right out of it. Okay, here we are. This is the winner. <laughs> I mean, this is the winner. I hit the melee. The melee button isn't even the fire button, Brian. No, don't go, don't let it go fast. Okay, we're doing the wiggle the whole time. Yeah, the wiggle technique. Wiggle the whole time. Why Fuck are you me. Trying to it's, it's this analog. St okay, I'm using the D-pad. Guys, we're doing we're doing third party Logitech though wireless. <laughs> Fuck. Good thing I got 50 rounds. But I'm using the D-pad now. You might be hearing some extra clicking sounds. I, I do apologize. While it's and then the, it's gonna be right. While this moment is the tensest, Brian. Huh, he's like, what the fuck? Okay, uh, can you take a Discord call for me? Yeah, and you can oh. chase him down too. It's really funny. I don't want to do that. I've risked enough today. Because I think All we're right. initiating cutscene hell. Well, it's heaven if you like Metal Gear. <clears throat> but who's in that? Uh, Oh, we're going to talk to Armadillo Racer. Armadillo Racer, you figured out how to get Discord? Hey, yes. Yeah. Hello, awesome. Armadillo. How, how's it going, man? Are you using a VPN or some kind of secret Patriot-approved yeah. technology? I've got uh, my Express VPN running. It's Hell yeah, dog. Hong Kong. Well, thank you how for you calling doing? in. Brian, I'm going to turn him up a little. Can I steal yeah, your go mouse? Um, thank you for calling in all the way from Hong Kong. You know, we were well, making... I'm not in Hong Kong. My VPN thinks I'm in Hong Kong. I'm, oh, your uh, VPN thinks you're in Hong Kong. Track. Oh, you could be... Wow, we got a real draft you're dodger the on, the pl on, the, uh, on the line here. He's jo he's running around, <laughs> taking cat naps. You you rise and shine. Do you do, do you do a lot of work off a laptop in a cafe with a trench coat on? Ooh. Oh, shit, yeah. Hackers. Okay. Well, uh, how, how's it... What, are you looking up Linux, <laughs> Brian? Brian's no. looking at images of the <laughs> Linux penguin for No, some I was looking up Wheezy, the penguin from uh, <laughs> Toy Story. That was the we Linux penguin. A... Same thing. We okay. haven't spoken since the peanut butter face days. How was that Oh, dude? man, you were making the YouTube stuff. This is Armadillo yeah. Racer. Okay, I'm oh. fit. It's coming back. We're making yeah. room. We're clearing out all those hardcore album know. names. And now I'm with you. I do remember the... the Pastor Peanut Butter Face. That was that was a great uh, short. Oh, well, thank you. <clears throat> yeah, man. Uh, so, what are you up to right now? You're just uh, you're chilling. You're calling us from uh, what we think is China. Uh, but did you have uh, anything Harbin. else? It's a uh, northern city, it's bordering Russia. Bordering. Oh, oh. Oh, okay, gotcha. Are is, we allowed to talk to you? Is that his IRL location? Probably. Yeah, they don't care. It's fine. It's oh, just, goody gumdrops. It's blocked. It's not like he, illegal. Just are you there for it. are you there for work or what are you up to? Yeah, I teach English up here. Oh, I cool. Get a change of environment. Hell yeah, man. That's one hell of a culture shock, I bet. Yeah. It's great. I met my wife. Oh, oh congratulations. My, so much has my happened. Son was born. My son oh. was born three weeks ago. He's a father. Well, congratulations, man. Well, there you go. <laughs> three That's weeks ago. That's pretty impressive. Rat. There's some big life changes there, man. New new father. Yeah, big deal. My sister is about to have her second. And it's, uh, I texted her today because it was like, I saw her at Comic-Con and she was ready to pop then. I said, we must be at uh, Terminal Dogma by now, surely. And she said, yes, we're very close. She said that the lance is almost awesome. pulled and, and I'll give you a text when we go in, <laughs> when we go into Third Impact. It's impressive how um, amazing, how women are able to do so much when they're so overwhelmingly pregnant. I just yeah. watched. I just watched a funny clip of uh, I think Alyssa Milano and Christina Pazitsky on uh, this podcast talking about yeah how truly amazing a woman's body is like it's the most really amazing the most amazing machine on this planet. 
And that's why I, goddesses, I, there, I, I, wor I would worship at the feet of any goddess uh, who would have me, Brian. It's good. I'm kind of going into, I want to start white knighting. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, I think it'd look good on me. Tall, privileged, dreadlocked, you know, you tattooed. There's a, like a, there's an element there that if I, if I throw white knight in it, I would drip so hard that it would be probably like, uh, you know that scene? In, uh, no, not, no, fuck that scene. You know, like, uh, when you go to the beach and the waves are crashing up on the shore? There's gonna be, like, a flood I feel like you're the, on my doorstep you're the anti-white like knight style, though. You're more, like, you've got the visual of the, uh, the opposite. Like, I feel like that's the whole where I confuse going on. Trench See, mafia. That's where I, that's where I play mental mind games, and I do confusion, because I, I hit them with that. They see one thing, and they perceive another. Milady. Subverting expectation. Exactly, dog. Exactly. The president, I want to just point out, the current president, not last term George Sears, a.k.a. Solidus, not, but this president just term. grabbed Raiden's crotch. Ooh. And I do remember that happening with Rykov in 3. Oh, we yeah. were talking about that. Oh, it did happen. But I, I don't remember it here. He grabs his junk and he's like, Ah, oh, you're a man. What? What? Yeah, it is weird. It's out there. But, uh, yeah, good to hear from you, Armadillo. I'm glad we got some, like, updates, man. That's crazy news to, uh, some of the listeners and viewers. I'm sure they remember your old calls and the fact that yeah, time flies this fast. Time. Well, yeah, I, my question was actually kind of related to that. Sure. Because I feel like, uh... When I was probably in my most contact with you in the show, I feel like, um, I don't know, things probably weren't really going so well in my life. So oh, when you were younger? I wanted to ask, like, about your experiences with kind of, like, being down at moments of your life and how you bounce back from that. Yeah, definitely, man. I mean, I can relate. I can relate to being fresh out of high school and kind of deciding like all right i'm not going to college i'm just going to keep working and then because i've got a good job but then i lost that good job around the same time like i lost my high school girlfriend and like was getting kicked out of my apartment because they didn't want me living there anymore because the ex-girlfriend lived there and like i remember all of this kind of crashing down on me and i was fucking like i gotta do something and that's when i was like oh everyone's trying these antidepressants like let me get let me get on some shit and man that fucking worked in the worst really? way possible because i was so numb it worked i wasn't like all sad about how shitty my life was turning out you know but i was so fucking numb and see i had the uh didn't care about going in Th that actually i think if i remember correctly i think the girlfriend and maybe the apartment and just like being out of high school and you're 18 and here's fucking life in your face like that hit me so hard that that's why i went and saw a counselor and then they put me on paxil and like six months of that and I was so I don't give a fuck that I quit coming into work on time because I didn't fucking care about anything Whoa. I mean it worked so well for me wow. that I didn't care about showing up on time and then uh, subsequently like got fired or like was asked to leave uh, one of the best jobs I ever had at Qualcomm Oh wow! Which is like you what fucking can't go back. Like, like I burnt that it's bridge so with the guy that ran that that department of HDR. He was like, we do not. If you leave to even go to another department within Qualcomm, you do not come back to to this department. <laughs> oh wow! So I lost. He was a stickler for it. Which I don't know. They ran a tight ship, but I lost that fucking opportunity, and I was like crushed. But I just. I think shocked myself back into, and I think I've talked about this on an old gaming cult podcast. I had joined a, uh, I, the, the, the counseling thing that I was getting through work is now gone because I lost that job, but I'm still taking these antidepressants. Right. And then I got in on a cash only cheap men's group therapy, like talk therapy. Oh, really? With, uh, like five 
I think it was like the guy who ran it and like maybe at a time like four or five guys and it was that was really eye-opening because I got to see these guys problems and sometimes it was like Jesus Christ I'm glad I'm not that fucking guy and other times yeah. it was like what am I you know what the fuck am I whining about you know yeah, uh, yeah it's good to get that reality check yeah and and through that they asked he the guy who ran it was like hey there's this opportunity for this kind of like men's getaway retreat thing and this is what i talked about on the gaming call podcast oh right how it was like the nude in the woods like choose your fucking spirit animal and <laughs> fully fully native american type healing ritual in a fucking sweat lodge thing at the end that. several days amazing uh bizarre shit that really snapped me out of it because I remember coming back and 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 I was like riding high on this excursion and then when I came we talked about that because I compared it to a kids in the hall episode oh right where they are picking their spirit animals and like naked around a fire like with war paint on going like I am the eagle who flies like I remember Scott Thompson over the fire I am the eagle who flies at once and it was like it was really like I did that shit I like held hands in a fucking trust line of like 30 guys and we walked nude through the fucking woods at like midnight it was fucking wow. it was out there i don't know if this shit could even exist anymore this is the fucking <laughs> oh i'm sure it doesn't it's uh, i want it do, I, I think wonder. it does my, i wonder my dad goes to these pagan holiday fest oh the wow kind of there anyway i talked about this on that old gaming cult episode so track that fucker down if you want but um that coming back from it riding high on like yeah you know I, 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 these were these problems that I had to work out and this is why I have these things and whatever I after like a couple days snapped the fuck out of it because that trip that retreat and everything I feel like really like brainwashed me into like yeah these are all the problems and these are all the excuses and then i snapped the fuck out of it when i got back into my normal routine i went like i don't have it that bad i got an apartment i got a new job doing electronics uh i'm fucking dating a new chick let me get off these antidepressants and keep you know trucking and then really that like moment where i snapped the fuck out of it it got me to where I am right now, you know, which I couldn't be happier. That's something that me and Derek talked about. After you left, Brian, Derek had said, like, I think you're the happiest person I know. And we had, oh, yeah, a, yeah, we yeah. had a discussion about that. Yeah, that's that. how you guys started the uh, the whole thing. It was a good... Yeah, you left after, that's right. Yeah, you guys had, uh, were talking about, like, how you manage your happiness. I thought that was a good little exchange for people to see on the archives. Yeah, I mean, we, we, we did talk more about health and exercise and diet and, and maybe those things keeping you happy as well. Yeah. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of stuff well, that, I, was that I pointed out in that conversation. But, but yeah, back to, I guess, that... That struggle I had was like, you know, a pretty low point in my life, but, you know, I got through it and it made me stronger because of it. I don't know if you, can you relate on that tip, Armadillo? Yeah, um, well, I think I had a pretty kind of similar experience in that the medication, I've been on medication since I was like in fourth grade. Yeah. Just for, you know, like anxiety type shit. But uh, no, it was really going off that and trying to find like, uh, I, I found what discovered weightlifting being hugely therapeutic. A lot of that yeah. was like Henry Rollins being a big influence on my life. And, you know, the way he talks about social anxieties and then like the iron doesn't lie and shit like that. It was a big, uh, big life changing moment to just control something myself and make yeah. my own goals and my own development. See some, see some results. That's similar to the conversation we had Sunday night too. But yeah, once you start seeing some results and then you know like humans love, I think, to be able to control something. I think that's why yeah. maybe video games are so fun because you get to control that character. 100%. It's also, up to my you. My happiness didn't rely on other people's opinion of me. It was, it was my own choices myself. Yeah. But, but bodybuilding or just exercise in general is a, a control that you can have over your... If your life is going out of control, that's one thing that if you're knowledgeable into it and you're practicing it consistently, yeah. that's, that's a thing that you can easily have control over in your life. Your... I, I lost uh, 60 pounds. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah. 
It was great. Dude, I want an AI to just control me, like in this game. <laughs> but I don't. This guy wants Raiden to commit self death on him. That's not fair. I guess it's not technically what the fuck? committing self death. I guess he knows. But you know, yeah, like you think back to those early times when you called me and you were like in a low point, but do you think like. Man, it wasn't that bad looking back on it. Because that's kind of how I... When I snapped out of it and I was like, I need to get off this fucking I don't give a shit drug. You know, that's just how it made yeah. me feel. Uh, you know, I knew I had to get off of that. I knew I had to, like, have a, a better outlook and not feel sorry or blame other people for whatever the fuck I was angry or upset about. With that retreat you were on, were you on any, like, uh, mind like substance altering type uh, no of they didn't dose us soda. i mean you could no, say I was hallucinogens or something or... true yeah no I, I i hear you no it was it was pretty it was pretty sober in fact they kicked out well they didn't kick out a couple guys but a, a couple guys showed up with pot and they went through uh, they went through pretty militarily your belongings when you show up so they pulled out all the stuff that they confiscated and they like said like you know hey stand in front of the circle of all 30 of us and and show what you you know they they announced like a couple people brought in some things that were clearly like in the description and the sign up sheet and everything like that were banned substances a couple people brought some pots some joints and things and we want to give them an opportunity and now you know like joe blow and fucking reverend x like you want to show up and and throw this in the fire pit and uh or or you know do you want to go home or they none of the guys went home they like took their shit and they like put it in the fire and they apologized to everyone. It was like Wow. It was interesting. So it was very it was very straight edge this retreat. But I will Did they, say uh, hover we, over the fire as they put it in. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I was downwind and I kinda <laughs> thought like, oh let me I think someone because a lot of these guys were like <laughs> which really freaked me out being like nineteen there and them telling me like you're one of the youngest people there. There was one other kid who was eighteen. Oh wow. But everyone was like forty. I'm looking uh, you know what the weirdest thing was? I'm standing around in a circle of like 30, 40 year olds, all big bushes. And me and this 18 year old kid are sitting here, dolphin waxed like 2001. So what? You know, like back in the day, we all fucking, I don't know, me and all my friends shaved our pubes. Now I'm in that 30 <laughs> to 40 year old man category. Don't walk away from me when I'm talking I to I promise you. there's a point to this. And that shit is like a forest. <laughs> Uh, it's a big bush, baby. Yeah. But like, back then, the, uh, I remember being embarrassed. It's like, oh, Did the fuck. bang. I didn't know I'm going to be naked on you this thing in front of a bunch of dudes. And, like, everyone's got bush but the two fucking kids. And now I'm embarrassed because I'm that's in my head the whole right. time. I think I cracked oh, a joke about it or something. But Flexing. Yeah. Flexing I, yeah. Dude. Those Sounds guys like were... You do. Those old guys are probably looking at me and the other kid going, wow, these guys fucked. Probably. Damn. Yeah. Clean dicks. Yeah. Well, a lot of these guys' problems was might have been about their wives. I also learned a lot about marriage oh, at really? this thing. Well, hearing the stories from some of these guys is like, uh, fucking government. Christ. Oh, yeah, they've been through some shit. Yeah, a couple times. Uh, speaking of that, I think I'm going to go. Yes. Well, to you to seem to be marriage. doing uh, awesome, man. A new outlook on life and uh, a hell of yeah, a change. Yeah, of course. It's amazing. I'll, I'll be returning back to Canada in about um, a year. Oh, great. okay. I'm Back to the Great my, White uh, North. White citizenship and that whole process. Well, right. have you caught up on Trailer Park Boys? Yeah. You might be missing a few episodes since you've been up uh, uh, in the Eastern Bloc. <laughs> Show us not been good since the early 2000s. You're right. After, like, season four, it's like... Woo. But I do love the jump in production, much like Mega64. I like how it went to 4x3 to widescreen. Anyway, yeah. uh, for another time, Armadillo Racer, it's been fun. All right, take care, man. Peace out. All right, see ya. Great calls. Wow, tonight. I mean, we're really diving deep on great, uh, great calls personal tonight. stories lately. Having to dr pull this shit out of the memory banks. The, the more it's, it's so interesting, though, the more you talk about yep. that and think about that, the more details you remember of it, the like, like really, really vivid visual, like uh, visual detail oh, I can yeah. now remember of that camp, of the bunks we stayed in, of this little red bag of, um, <laughs> so it's like a little Native American like 
leather red bag with a satchel like leather string. Right. And it had like dirt and a bird feather and like shit in it. I don't know. There was some intention put on it when they oh, gave it to us. Oh, I see. And then we all wore it. was like part of the ceremonial last day thing. It was like a three day thing. Huh. Anyway, uh, the info dump here is uh, Raiden's basically getting the news from philanthropy that, you know, we're not a fucking terrorist organization. We didn't sink the tanker and steal Metal Gear. Yeah, that's all. This is all, it's all spin. Fake news, Brian, that was put in World Local Sports and Business. What's the name of this? DML, DML Cable News. Don't make cry cable news site. So it's all spin. Uh, and Solid Snake's breaking down the real story for yeah. Ryzen. We're He's getting to fucking over yeah, our showtime. Man. We'd like to go to two hours every uh, once in a while. I've been cutting them short early, so we'll do it. We'll finish it out. I loaded up a Strife track to play us out. Oh, good. I know, we talked about them earlier, and I think I rated that top. You know, it was up there, certainly. Ooh. I think uh, we could do one last call All if right. there is someone that just wants to say hi, lightning round style, while this cutscene plays out. All right. Hello, hello. What the fuck? Eric, Yefwikins. I'd love to talk to Eric. Hello. How you doing, Yefwikins? Uh, Yefi. Good, how about you? What's it going? You, you keeping your first subscription or are you, uh, are you bouncing? Yeah. Uh, I'm... So usually what I do is I uh, I use one subscription each month. I use it once for Big Dogs, and then the next month I move back. Oh, no, I'm talking about Rooster Teeth first subscription. Yeah. It's going up a couple oh. – it's a couple bucks a month that goes up. It's no big deal. But you know I, I heard I heard you were bouncing. I heard you were over Ruby Chibi, and you were just yeah, going to catch you know, it when I don't, it goes I don't, I don't need Rooster Teeth anymore. You're just going to catch it when it goes up on YouTube a week later or what? Yeah. Okay. All right. It's hard, man. I yeah. Never, sometimes, uh, what was it? Giant Bomb went got a paywall on their podcast or something, and everyone freaked the fuck out. Oh. Or one of those big podcasts back in the day went through a thing. I remember where they got a paywall, but they survived it. I, I believe it was yeah. Giant Bomb. Everyone does. You got to man. You got to support the yeah. creators. We're creating. This is content, yeah, Ryan. I love your content. We're creating content. Check this out. Hopefully what other stream got main fisheye camera lens? A Brian King Lord cam. Damn right. The Sumo Lounge. Who's got a wheel? No one's got a wheel. No cam body. girls got wheels. We got fucking wheels up the ass. You, you guys so are cam boys. Fast. That's right. That's right. Thank you. The cam boys, obviously. One of a kind. So what can we do for you tonight, Yefwikins? Thank you. you, you not, not much. I'm going to be honest. I haven't really been watching the stream. I usually just come in to talk to everybody. But... <clears throat> no. Listen, on Friday, it'll go up on YouTube. You just listen to it. There you go. You, he already yeah. did. Some, some, of the, some of the songs uh, will be muted because that's that fucking algorithm, yeah. man. We're content creators talking about the algorithm yeah. on Discord using twitch i mean we're hitting all facets this we're is doing it this has got to be one of the number one i am so fucking pissed. kevin i'm not dealing with that anymore Brother. it's got to be one of the number one streams uh, out there i uh, big dogs up there too brian big dude damn right uh, big dudes <laughs> frank and brian hold it down but you know on wednesday nights that you don't got the big dog option so i'm saying number one in the in the uh yeah in the world, I would say. Yeah, let's go for that. There's what? Te you said about you 10 people in China protesting right now, so they're not watching. <laughs> right. You got think, England, Africa. Uh, I think you guys made front page of Twitch, right? Oh, I mean, we must. Yeah. Every week, I Normally. would assume. I never look, but... Oh, oh! They, I, I would no, assume. They, they, paused the, they paused the game and turned it to their life. The young, the best time. man. Yeah, I am the they, best man. Uh, or main understandable okay um thank you for your call we sure do uh, love no you problem. we'll see you next I didn't time really... thank you up next we have eli <laughs> from the class of 2005 eli's up next brian let's go. let's go i'm gonna play the whole thing out and uh we're gonna save yeah. we'll be back I next got week one question man tell me who next 
This nigga salt like a nigga who just getting the best. See, I'm the best, man. I did it. I did it. I I I I I did I did I did I did I did it. I did it. You know he did. You know why? <laughs> they get mad at him in the YouTube video because he wasn't supposed to curse, and when he drops those n bombs, he get real pissed. Oh yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I'ma let you know who the best by the hour. Just like Rosie O'Donnell at a bisexual bridal shower. It ain't nothing to me, man. I keep it for real. Look at this dental, man. With dental, look real. See, I'm the best. I told you that. This dude like that, he ran in front of the cat. Now I messed up, but I'ma stay on top. They told me, man, but you know, I'm never gonna flop. Look at this dude, he need to stay in the shade. Ain't no wonder why he came out. He already in the gay parade. I told you, man, I got you. Roast it like ever. You don't know, but my rhymes, they straight up clever. So you step down off the pedestal. I'm the best man. You need to go to the fucking veto. Next week, Brian. I cannot wait.
Mm-hmm. <laughs>